Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm, take two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, we have got Galatians 4, 4 and 5. And it says, God sent his son, born to a woman, born under law, to redeem those under law, that we might receive the full rights of sons. So, um, Jesus himself came down and was born this week. Um, or actually Monday of next week, but for as far as recording wise, this is my Christmas recording. Um, so Merry Christmas. Uh, the next time I record, it'll be after Christmas. And then the following time after that, it'll be after New Year's. So yeah, it'll be 2024. Only two more podcasts in this year. Oh my goodness. No, it's okay. Um, so. What have I been working on? Uh, the only thing serious that I've been working on is I did make a couple more angels. I don't have any. I've given them all away. Um, I was using the white thread with the beads, and I literally um, have given those all away. And then... I don't know. When I was a kid, I made these and they look like skates. Now, I don't think so. It's so I'm not real happy with this little ice skate thing. Um, it'll be put on hold. So, these will go put away. I've made all of the little ornaments I'm going to make. And I am going to start on next year. And I think I'm going to do either snowflakes or stars. don't know which so yeah um then in my spare time so i have made it this far on the second half of this and again i am making two squares and no i don't know how this is going to go together but we shall see so here is the second square i've got i haven't worked at all on this square just drop my hook because i'm not sure if i'm going to go sideways with it or if i'm going to use it this as an entire front and keep going taller i don't know i really don't know so um we'll see how it goes and the only thing that i do know is in my head it'll be square backed and cross over in the front it'll just be a little pullover sweater no sleeves just you know the body so um yeah i don't know sorry drop my hook so i'm not real sure where that's gonna go from there um we'll see how it comes together that's all i can say so um then for fun um i started one little project and i was just looking around for something little to do and i found these little guys now remember i love googly eyes i think googly eyes give everything personality so i don't embroider a whole lot but i do use googly eyes and this there we go He's a little worry worm. Um, I found him on the internet and I thought I'm going to make those. So I've got about four of them made and I'm just making it out of scrap yarn. The little gray one is just too cute because his eyes are look really big compared to, I guess I can take it out of there. Um, so some of those eyes look and they're just the eyes I had left over from the chickens. But anyway, he's a little worry worm. He's a little short worry worm. But it just depends on what kind of yarn I'm using. And so I love that. Uh, then, as I was looking for small projects, um, a girlfriend of mine posted this. And I fell in love with it. And so I made one. Took it to work yesterday and it was confiscated by the boss. And then uh, she actually thought it was a Christmas pickle. 
And I looked at her and I said, no, it's my emotional support pickle. She says, I have to have one of those. I said, here. <laughs> and so, of course, googly eyes. And uh, so I made another one and I decided I'm going to make these for all of us for, for uh, birthdays. This is going to be my birthday gift to everybody is an emotional support pickle. So, um, yeah, last night I made this one and I got this far on the next one. So they whip up pretty easy. Um, and that's just, you know, sitting in the evening, probably this is maybe two hours worth of work. And don't ask me a pattern because I just do a magic circle with some in it and then work in the round and put the little bumps on. And as you can tell, when I'm working in the round, sometimes I get off. I just make it another wart. <laughs> so, yeah. And I literally am just working it in the round. And then to finish it off, I literally, literally decrease until it's gone. And then this is the same little thing as the worry worm where you chain and then chain like three or four in the neck in the next stitch bag and three or four in the next stitch bag and it makes it really curly so that's how i put on his little thing um i haven't decided i probably should try to put some arms or legs on them or something but i don't know the other thing i thought about was a raisin i don't know I don't know. I'm going to figure out something other than a pickle um, and go from there. But I still love these things. This one is going to my desk. I'm not giving it away. I'm going to have it at my desk. And that's my emotional support pickle. And then I'll have some worry worms to give away. And over the course of the next year, all of the bankers will get one of these. Just because they went over so well. Rachel told me. We were sitting at the Christmas party when I showed them. I was like, check this out. And uh, Rachel looked at me and she goes, is that one of your Christmas gifts? I said, no, it's not. I said, I just made it last night because we do a dirty Santa thing. And uh, she goes, I wanted it. She goes, I would have fought for that. And I said, well, I said, um, maybe next year. And she goes, that's all I want on my Christmas list for next year is I want that. So I've decided, and Katie did the same thing. She's like, yeah, we want those. So I've decided for their birthdays, I am just going to do an emotional support pinnacle and go from there. So and I will make everybody one. And I'm good with that. So, yeah. Anyway. All right. Then, like I said, we had our Christmas party and that, that's literally all I've been working on. Um, I have a bag with the worry worm stuff in it and I'm using the same hook for the pickles and the worry worm. So yeah, I have these right here and then that one and the Christmas one. I just have to get stuff put up. The yellow and gray thing i'm gonna rip it out and start over i don't like it so therefore i'm not gonna wear it so therefore what's the point point? and i don't like it you know there's nobody i wanted to give it to so especially with the yellow and the gray so i'm gonna come up with something else on that i am frogging that whole thing so anyway um so that's really all that i've been doing um Christmas is pretty much complete. The kids and I are going to get together for um, Christmas Day. We're going to do it that night. And I'm the only one that has to go to work the next day. So, But um, I'm going to do it that night. And we're going to have breakfast food. And we're going to have our cookies and everything. So, yeah. We're going to get to doing get together and do that for New Year's. I'm not doing anything. I'm staying here. I have a three day weekend. I probably will be making pickles or I'm thinking I'm going to go. I got a gift card at work. We had our 
Christmas party. I've made reference to it several times, and there's a couple things I want to tell you about it. Um, I got a gift card from Hobby Lobby, uh, so I'm going to go and get some cute cotton. I want to get two different kinds, and um, I'm going to make teddy bears, I think. Not big ones, but just teddy bears, and I think that uh, I will maybe make a, a thing. It's sewing, it's so, and I could make stuffed teddy bears crochet. And so I'm thinking I'm going to make little toys just for the fun of it. Um, it will give me a break from clothes. I do have a few things in mind that I want to make as far as my work clothes, but really haven't gotten that far into it. Uh, got a lot up here, just nothing out here. So anyway, um, Christmas Eve, I'll be baking and then we'll do Christmas day. And then my three day weekend for the new year, I probably will be crafting. So, um, I'm going to make a list of stuff that I want to do for the office, how many I need, and then I'll be ready for next year. So at the Christmas party, um, we do a, they call it a dirty Santa. Uh, anyway, the, everybody picks a number, has a gift up there, and they, uh, when they pick that number, you go up in order, number one goes up and he opens a gift and then Number two goes up, opens a gift, and they can either keep their gift or steal. No, they don't open a gift if you're going to steal it. So you can steal the gift or you can open another one. And then, so keep going, keep going, and you either open a gift and steal a gift. Once a gift is stolen, uh, once it's hit, move three times, it's frozen. So that person that ends up with it on the third one is done. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, I didn't end up with the gift that I originally, um, wanted, uh, can't remember what it was, but Katie opened before me and whatever she had, she had been, it had been stolen from her before. Oh, the hot chocolates. So it had this big thing of, and a big snowflake and different hot chocolates. I thought that would be perfect for Macy. I know it's supposed to be a silly gift and blah, 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 but I was like, that'd be perfect for Macy. So I stole it from Katie, but then Leah came and stole it away from me. And then Katie got her stolen again. And once you have your gift stolen away, you have to pick another gift. And so when my hot chocolates got stolen, I had something else in between there. And I can't remember what it was. Um, I avoid opening a gift at all. I just look around the room and decide what I want to steal. So anyway, um, I stole this from Katie and it's just too funny. Now the dogs have their issues with this. Um, and I, I haven't gotten a hold. It's connected to my phone now. There it goes. So this is a little microphone and you sing along with what's on your phone, right? It's a little karaoke thing. The funny part of this is not this. It's this. Cause then when you go to talking, it's not even doing it now. Hang on. Hang on. There it goes. And now it changes your voice. The dogs hate this. It can do different ones. And each time it'll go down an octave. And it gets worse. And the dogs cannot stand this one. Hitch was horrified. Anyway, the dogs do not like it. 
and it starts out real high pitch and then it goes down like you heard and the really really deep one they don't like it all but anyway you put this and it's rechargeable you can even put a little sim card thing in there and yeah that's a little bit more than me you know i can hook it to my uh computer and then sing and then record it on my computer <laughs> and so i just like how pretty and metallic it looks it's gorgeous but anyway so we have this and we're going to add this to our christmas fun um so i love this and uh the dogs hate it so anyway last night i was playing with it but no it like you bluetooth into my phone which it did that was that beep beep you heard it bluetooth into my phone and then i could turn on like my pandora and just sing with it and it comes out of the speaker so yeah i like it kind of silly but hey i like it um other than that like i said next week i'm going to uh record probably later in the week i've got a three-day weekend and then um another three-day weekend the one we're doing christmas and then the next one is new year's eve and i'm not doing anything on new year's eve i probably will just i want to go and get two different kinds of of good cotton and see if i can't make a teddy bear um i don't have a pattern so we'll see what it becomes um i'm hoping to make <sighs> my grandma used to make them and they had the different colored belly and then the two solids and then the arms were solid with the round that matched the belly and i'm not real sure i don't remember how she attached the legs i knew that know that they they were seated seated so she may have just soaked them in that way. I, I don't know. And I know they had a very pointy face. So I'm going to look around and see if I can get a uh, pattern for it. And then I'm going to go to making those for just kids. You know, I can make clothes for them. I can make, I can crochet clothes for them. I could, I don't know. just looking to find my niche and i'm really having fun making ab crocheting abstract items okay so just saying all right i'm gonna get off here you guys have a merry merry blessed christmas hanukkah um kwanzaa winter fast whatever it is that brings your heart peace and joy this time of year have a great one even if you don't have material things just feast and fellowship with someone um however it is that you choose to celebrate my heart and prayers are with all of you okay so enjoy the season and be blessed okay and i will see you next week for the last podcast of the year Bye. Thanks for watching.